confused, but if I see Mimmin, then I know I'm right. There we go. There it is. Oh, he's oh. thinking about it. He's thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wait, maybe I am a Toon Link. Hold on. <laughs> maybe I am a Toon Link. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe I have a Toon Link. He just, just like, somehow I'm just gaslighting him. Like, wait, didn't no, you? No, 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 you're the Toon Link. Yeah, yeah, you know, what yeah, are you doing playing with? Like, yeah, we played last week. You were playing Toon Link. Do you remember, bro? <laughs> remember? I want to gaslight more top players into playing characters I want them to play. That sounds very funny. <laughs> but it's going to be Minmin right now. It's Minmin Oliver. This is the quintessential Japanese matter, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I'm excited. You're excited. <laughs> I actually... I, I, like, people hate Olimar, but I actually like seeing Olimar as Olimar. You know who was Olimar I love to see as well? Is Uwame. Is Uwame yeah, one of Olimar's who is, who when he gets his hits in, that has the potential to get massive combos. Yeah, but like, I literally just said I like seeing his Olimar, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's anyways. good fun. It's for good fun. Mass was not listening. Anyway. <laughs> and the Pikmin's aren't listening either. They get, they're getting straight into the yeah, fire yeah, of the yeah, arms. Yeah. They, None of them surviving. Yeah, this is really just like... It is a better time once Olimar can get the purples on lock, because you can see them kind of hit through the arms there. They at least they make it through the arms. They might not get the hit because their you know, hitbox gets deactivated from the clank, but... I think the more important more. thing to do as an Olimar user in this matchup is just to keep that damage up as much as possible. Because if you can force... Ooh, damn. If you can force Mimmin off stage, you have a little bit of an easier time chasing her down. Yeah. It also is one of those matchups where Whistle does become a really a really great, unique tool. You know, Miniman can only throw out so many moves. You have the one, two of the arms. As long as you're able to whistle the second one, then get your lead in. We see seen stocks tech. come. Nice tech. He was ready for it. I know throw. And oh. ready. Fatty coming in deck, coming in clutch. <laughs> I see it with back. neutral air uh, Ram Ram. Or is it the Mega One? Mega One. Ooh, DC. <laughs> the DC throw. I love seeing that. It looks so silly. It's another. It's another thing that Uwami likes to do with his uh, Pikmin and Olimar. We set up the Pikmin on that platform, and we chase you down with the shield. You cannot shield on platform, sir. It's I am ready for it, actually. Yeah, and it looks silly when it hits. Okay. It does look a bit silly. All right, Pikmin just sitting behind him, waiting for their orders. Captain, my captain. When shall I swing? Just the go. Now. Go, troops, go. Build up that damage for me. The up smash attack. I think this is also footage of uh, Archer playing Pikmin and just all of his Pikmin dying. <laughs> just them all, just the, the souls and the spirits, they were they were not surviving. It's, it, Min Min, now that I'm thinking about it, has a really great time getting rid of the Pikmin, actually. Once you once you get stuck with them, she can kind of just throw out that up smash, throw out the arms, throw out the Megawatt there to catch uh, Uame on his getup. And the thing about just it, takes socks. Omar doesn't really have much in the way of like a good whiff punisher. He has a tough time. because. If you can catch Mimmin whipping her arms, then like you're in business, but Olimar doesn't really have that kind of like mobility or range to do it. Yeah, the best you can get maybe is just like that throw of the purple. We see it here trying yeah. to set him up, but we're at those percentages now where you're not really gonna set up a tech situation, especially if Rimu sees the sees the purple coming, knows there's nothing he can do about it. He can still DI up and just avoid having to tech entirely. He does have a blue, so he can't eaters her out, out of the stage. But, but how is Olimar getting in grab distance of Minmin? Yeah, let's seriously. be honest. That's it's tricky. Yeah, this is a bit of a tricky situation for Uame. Rimu is looking really nice. The dragon's powered up right now. We got our grab. The laser's on deck. That Nair wasn't the Megawatt, so it's not going to kill just yet. Using the Ram Ram to just keep with the ledge building up percent while we can. All right. Ah, not dead yet. Okay. Wow, we are taking a lot of damage here just yeah, by uh, hanging here. Uh, yeah, nice. I don't think Rimu really cared, but... Doesn't matter. It's, it's, like, it's something I've seen a lot of Olimars do recently. You see that yellow F smash? How long it is? How it, long it stays out? It's very active. Yeah, shoot on behind those two, and the Uwame taking a, but, taking a page for the book. But try, try to throw, fly through there, but no, no good. And no fly zone. And that one, your last shot just got destroyed away. Minmin is just a no fly zone when you think about it. She has the arms, the ram ram, the ram ram can kind of just, if you angle it up, you cannot approach. Sorry, Olimar. Better luck next time, buddy. Yeah, there's certain characters who just kind of nullify those angles. Like, uh, Sheik in particular just destroys Min Min. So, Uame, if you have the pocket Sheik, I'd like to see it. But now, Uame likes the uh, the little guy. Wait, uh, 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 Okay. I, what did I tell you earlier, Artrix? What did I tell you, what did I tell you early, earlier about uh, everybody? I, I didn't gaslight this man into playing Steve, really. <laughs> who, who would do that? No, you were a Steve main, actually. And here he is, immediately getting comboed by Uwame. Now that the arms aren't there, now that he can actually get in a bit on this character, he's able to get the combos that we know and love to see from him. The up smash, up smash. Yep. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice. There we go. Oh, we my God. Massive damage. We're 20 seconds in. Can he get this smash attack? No. Not quite yet. We're getting command. Cold. We're getting command grab, though. Ah, oh, man. This Metroid music is also really intense for this kind of match. It, what do you find? What do you find? 
Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. But empty with the uh, Metroid music, so it's just like, and you're fighting Steve too, so it's just, yeah. just an intense scenario for where am I right now? The boss battle of all boss battles, right here. It really is. Whistle not coming out in time to avoid that second hit from Rimu there. Would be able to get a nice punish, but we spot dodge the minecart actually to avoid getting grabbed. I'm surprised. Good. The minecart uh, grab box didn't stay out long enough to, to scoop him up there, but. Excellent play from Mario right now. We're getting back thrown. Good chance for Rimu to build up some resources, build the wall, keep gathering. Oops. Damn, but all these Pikmin keep putting in work. Uwami keeps finding ways to slide these Pikmin just between the gaps of the walls. And even though, you know, Rimu's there, able to mine up some resources, we're still taking damage yeah. for the Pikmin. Doesn't yeah. matter though, we get yeah, that, that smash. Yeah, that was a, that was a mix up. I, I, I got hit there. I got hit there. I got smacked by the sword. Yeah, it looked like, it looked like a shovel from this angle. <laughs> I digress. Now, now Shell Knight, now that's a character who should be in the next Smash game. God, I wish. But now we gotta deal with Funny Block Man. And he's a Funny Block Man indeed, able to go way low on his recovery, Ooh. but the jump, Minecart, will get called out by Uwame. Wait. And it's an interesting one, right? If, if, if Uwame had hit that one just a little bit lower, he would have hit the Minecart instead of Steve, so that the backer would not have killed. So, good spacing from him. Okay. Diamond oh. is here to play. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. The diamonds here, but the resources it really aren't. If we look at his bar, barely any blocks, no uh, iron to, to speak of. Now it's really up to Wami to aggress while he has this chance. Already Funny trying draw. to go for that shield break with the two perps. Only one left now, though. Oh God, the diamond just does not care about your Pikmin. He's like, yeah, I got this stuff from Tiffany, bro. But look at Rimu now. He does have three iron on deck, so he won't be able to have access to the minecart. But that again, Wami matter. does not care about minecart. He is swinging at you regardless. I got the stone. Uh, sorry, I'm not. I'm not a Minecraft guy, so I don't know the. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's stone. It's stone. It's stone. I'm sure. Okay. It looks, it looks like it. Actually, it's cobblestone. He made the cobblestone sword. Yeah, he made Sean's homeworld of uh, Britain. Actually, he has the iron wall. Actually, he has the. Oh my God! It's a Pikmin. Get out of the way. That was like a. That was like a mini, like a like a Minecraft level in Donkey Kong Country. Just. Running through all the bad guys. That was like Brian Destine's level of sadness, man. Like every single Pikmin just got hit one after the other. Just the the, the kid stuff on him. Every single okay. one. The cries were deafening. <laughs> Uwame has to live with to live with the loss. Oh, but can geez. he live on this second stock? Let's see. Big whiff there from Rimu. And is that not a kill percent right now? But is that Uwame a pretty healthy 77? He is at diamond, and he is at a little bit of resources. Yeah, so Rimu, if he's he, able to bait out these last two iron, he's gonna have a really good time. Yeah, there, there, there's a start. Gets his throw. And there's a start too. Get rid of the minecart. I mean, Wami's just so good at hitting Rimu out of the minecart each and every time, you know? I want to see his best options in neutral. Never yeah, mind, the problem just hits through. Right, right, There you go. Like, right, I just said it. Really good about hitting him out of the minecart and just... Because you know how it is. It's one of those things, like, every Virgil's gonna helm biker. Every Steve is going to do my cart. Mm -hmm. So you've got to pick a spot to do it. You can't just do it. It makes sense to me. But I, 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 I to be fair, was not that familiar with the interaction between Olimar, Purple, Pikmin, and Minecart. But now that I've seen it a couple times, I think it just hits through. I think it's, I think it's like a Palutena the backer situation where it doesn't matter where you hit him. It's just gonna, just gonna tank it. So. Good, good tool for Wami to have here, but the Rimu is coming back on this min min. Wants to give the, the Steve a try, gave it a try, but we're back to our, back to our classics. Yep. Min making it work. Yeah, you can go back from, go from one DLC to the other DLC. DW Club, Wii Rimu is a person who just wants to win. Wants to win, wants to start it up. Hey. The double hit on the yellow there, he's tanking everything. Red now tanking the hits. Uh, right, really greedy with that dash grab. But look hey. at it, look at Uwame, 30 seconds in. He's been able to deal 130% to Rimu just off these little hits of the Pikmin. The problem is, is that like, Rimu can't really get any of his big hits in. Like, this is the time where he has to go off stage and try to force a kill scenario right there. And he doesn't get it. It was so. very interesting that Uwame was able to dodge every single one of those arm swings. I feel like the small frame of Olimar really came in clutch there. He's able to jump over some, but the laser, man. That's definitely one of the low-key, uh, Benefits of being an Omar player is that this is some huge damage. You got 60% off of up smash at zero. Yeah, Omar is really small. And yeah, those noodles are big. But if you're not hitting your target, you're just kind of 
hitting the air. He got 60% off of up smash at zero, and now Rima's already at 126%. Now he's just gonna hit him with another purple. Right. It's, it's like the, he's going for these back airs as if Rima's still on Steve, but we are on the minute right now. Gonna have to find your stock in another way. We're not just going for the jump mine cards anymore. We're going for something else. Something else entirely. Going for a grab there, but Wame hey, jumping over. A lot. Good avoidance there from the Dragon's Breath. Wow! Baited. Exceptionally baited. He knew that he had the Pikmin on him, and Reamer's been throwing out that up smash to get rid of the Pikmin in that last game. He, he didn't he didn't forget how you played Minmin from that first game just by you bringing out Steve. He remembered everything, and now we're finding ourselves three stocks to one. He's like an elephant, he never forgets. Yeah, Wame making such a big difference in this, uh, in this third match. Up the edge guard here. Just, nice. just run right into the uh, Megawatt. We were able to send out the little dragon tub. Hit him with the nose. You were at high enough percent to take the stock, but are we able to build up enough percent to take a second stock, or maybe even a third? The right. Wame's not going to let it happen. Already confirming off of the up smash, getting Wame, three Wame, up airs. The juggle is insane right now. That was some huge damage from Wame. Sitting real comfy here. It's another position that Minmin does really struggle in, is the juggle situation. And Olimar, unconventionally, one of the best characters of juggling in this game with his Pikmin. Only out of red. All right. Uh oh. Red, white, and purple. Almost American colors. That purple, though, though, is going to come and do some damage if he lands. And He's trying to take himself to the land of the free, saying, Rima, you may have taken that first game, be looking free as hell on this third. Seriously. You're already at 197. We have the rage to work with, but it's one more swing of any of these Pikmin, I'm feeling. Thing about stocks it, for sure. Yeah, another thing about Mimmin is that, like, if, when you have to play these comeback scenarios where you have to approach, it's, it can be really annoying, especially against a projectile heavy character like Olimar. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Exceptionally played there. Uwame just jumped, gets it, blocks one arm, jumps over the second arm, swings. Although I feel like in that situation, there's also stuff that Rimu can do. Like, Rimu can jump out of the, you know, the arm tosses if he's ready for it, but the swing of the Pikmin just that big. Maybe he didn't even have that shot. He was like, well, in that, in that did the right thing. In that, position, there, in that position, there, he was just kind of, there was not much he could, could have done. Because he was, he was just in, right, in the right range to get... That's me, right spot. that's me imitating the Olimar. I, it doesn't even go like that. It's more like, it's more like you like you know pull pull my resource out from behind my back. And just, ah. Anyway, that was pretty fun. Me when I have picked them. <laughs> oh, the the picked men. The picks men. Anyway, hope you guys are doing good tonight. Uh, we are here at Rockin' here at Smapa number 118. Final spot of 2023. There's not gonna be one next week, I assume. No, no, no. The Red Bull, like this is the it is legitimately the last event taking place in this venue uh, this year. All right. There'll be like a like a uh, final event of the year just for you know the game. staff and people, uh, I believe, at some point. But uh, the, the the last game to be played in the Red Bull gaming sphere is the best game in the world, Super Smash Bros. Mm -hmm. Ultimate. The most loved and the most supported by fans and developers. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, we did the uh, Street Fighter event last week, which I did win. I did win the Street Fighter event. Let's go. Diamond and under. That's my boy. No one, apparently no one knew the uh, the Jamie save jump setup, but. There you go. Hey, it, it worked. Hey, if the mix works, make it work. Anyway. Yeah. Should switch on Mimmin to start, I agree. The Mimmin switch was kind of kind of rough. I feel like Uwame, Uwame definitely one of those plays that, you know, warms up through a set. So you don't really want to give him that chance to like start really like feeling out his combos and feeling out uh, how he wants to play the set. 